In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own custom moves and tricks. And stick around even if you're not a b-boy or a dancer because these tips can apply universally to all creative movements. So, let's get into it. Hey guys, this is Guy from Vertigo Vision. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can get more videos from us. So I've been dancing and breaking for about eight years now, and I always had trouble coming up with my own moves. Um, it was always hard for me, I'm not sure why. But throughout the years, I've learned a lot of tips and tricks from good friends and fellow b-boys who have helped me to create my own arsenal and moves, and so I want to display them to you and share them with you today. Creating your own moves can be hard because sometimes we have this expectation for ourselves where we feel like the moves that we create have to pertain to a certain level. But today, the first tip I actually have to share with you is screw it! I wish I could use a more intense word, but we're gonna keep this family friendly. Toss out all prior expectations you had for yourself and just go with it because allowing yourself to play and to create is gonna take some letting go. Don't forget, at the end of the day, you're creating for yourself, so don't be afraid to be a little silly think outside the box, do what feels right to you. So just keep trying different things until something works for you. Tip number two is to practice in a calm environment. I would find a place where you can practice in silence or in quiet um, by yourself or with a few friends that you can really trust. While public sessions can be really helpful and you can build off the energy of others, it can be really easy to get caught up in that energy and just throw things that are on autopilot. And when we are on autopilot, we tend to throw the things that we've trained. So that means you'll most likely be only throwing the stuff that you've practiced and have wired into yourself before. And play some slower music because breakbeats are really fast if you haven't noticed. So I would recommend that you play something slower like lo-fi hip hop, even music without beats or even silence because when you're experimenting with the movement, you don't have to really worry too much about the musicality because you can always apply the musicality after the fact. So give yourself the space to be open and practice calmly. Tip number three, start simple. Don't bite off more than you can chew because if you try to make the best combo ever, then you're going to get overwhelmed and expectation will start to sink back in and it's just not a great space to be in. So my recommendation is you start as simple as you possibly can, which means Start with like a small little combo. It doesn't even have to be a combo, just a move. Like picking a CC or a small step, it could even be a top rock, and then altering that with a simple concept. So for example, earlier today, I tried to make some new moves as an example for this video. And I started by just choosing one little concept, which is crossing my hands. I would keep trying to cross my hands, implementing that into what I already knew and seeing where that would take me. And eventually that led to new steps. And eventually after crossing my hands, I started uh, trying to do more swipe moves and then I started to build on top of it. When you try to jump straight into it, then it can be a little bit overwhelming. So restricting yourself with smaller moves can actually be more productive. Step four, it kind of links back to what I've been talking about, but I wanted to outline it specifically, is just go with it. So a lot of the times you're gonna have this vision of what you wanna attain. You wanna be like, okay, I wanna do a CC into a backspin and then slide and then I want my leg to do exactly that and if you try to do the combo and you mess up you're like oh, God, I messed up so I'm gonna start over again and you get kind of caught at this wall what I found which helps a lot especially when creating new moves is allowing yourself to make these mistakes and then falling into these new moves because what you might think is a mistake is actually just a type of body movement that you're not quite used to yet I think it was a b-boy friend of mine or a dancer friend who said Mistakes are just mechanical motions that we aren't quite used to yet. And there's definitely a lot of truth in that. So I tried to do that today while I was at the gym. And one, I, I would do things that I would consider a crash or I messed up, but I just kept moving with it. And eventually I got used to that motion. And I think I've been able to unlock more articulations in my body. So that would be my next step of advice for number four is just go with it. And my fifth and final tip for you guys in this creating your own moves package, although it's always really good to keep creating your own moves, it's equally as important to be able to learn the tools and the foundations of the genres that you're dancing within in order to break them later. And then you can start to use those foundations and those tools to paint your own picture. Because if you try to create your own moves with zero foundation, you're gonna be flopping everywhere and not understand the angles and the techniques required to make a move look better. I had a good friend of mine tell me something a while back. He said that if you try, 
to start learning something from scratch without any guidance, know that you are starting in the exact same position as the very first person who tried that art. So for example, if you try to start making your own breaking moves without knowing any breaking, you're going to be flopping all over the place without any of knowledge, instructions, or experience from the people who have been practicing this dance for the last 40 years. So it would be very helpful, in my opinion, for you to go out and continue to learn your foundations and master these tools so that you can later bend and break them to your will. And that's something I need to continue doing as well. I noticed while I was practicing today at the gym that if I had understood how to do this type of footwork better or if I had understood the balance of my body a little bit more and learned a little bit more, I would have been able to actually push my moves even further. Never stop learning. Continue, continue, continue to keep learning because it will only help you build in all aspects of your life. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helped. Uh, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave your feedback by liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting that bell so that you can get notifications for the next few videos that are coming out. Again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Keep learning. Peace.